Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to Fitness Friday. In today's video, I'm just going to be chatting with y'all about my week this week. As many of you know, um, I'm working on prepping for a bodybuilding show again, uh, hopefully in June. That's the show that I have my eye on, but it's something that I just have to take week to week and see how I'm feeling, see how my body's responding. Um, and make sure that I will be competing before I sign up uh, because last summer I started a prep and it ended up being completely bad timing and uh, I had to stop and that's okay. Um, so anyway, what I wanted to talk about this week was motivation, uh, slip ups, and struggling with the idea of perfection when it comes to workouts and diet because I think that a lot of people when you get into this whole fitness realm when you start a fitness journey a lot of the time we're overwhelmed by information that tells us that it has to be this way you know you have to eat this certain way you have to eat this many meals a day you have to eat these certain types of food you have to do this kind of workout you have to work out this much every single day um and it's overwhelming and I don't know if any of you guys are just kind of getting started with your own fitness journey but it is it's it's crazy overwhelming uh, and it's hard to decipher what's right what's wrong and what's going to work for you and for several several years I struggled so badly with wanting to adhere my lifestyle my preferences my diet my workouts to what worked for other people so I would see so-and-so doing this workout and I thought that that's what I needed to look that certain way. I saw somebody else doing this diet and I thought that that's what I needed to look a certain way. And I struggled so badly with not ever being perfect. And I thought that if I wasn't perfect, I wasn't gonna make progress, so I might as well give up. And so this week, um, I've had a lot of kind of internal struggles and a lot of it has stemmed from being completely honest, my time of the month. Uh, whenever we have, whenever females have that time of the month, our period, we go through a ton of hormone changes and I've noticed that every single month my anxiety gets worse. Um, I get intense cravings for just food in general, but mostly like overly sweet foods um, or overly fatty foods. and. Um, I, I kind of go into like this depressive state and it and it happens every single month and so this week kind of it kind of hit me hard um, and so I was anxious I didn't want to do anything and I went over on my diet and this is the first time that this has happened in this prep and it's it's always rough because I want to fall back into old habits and old mentalities of making myself feel guilty punishing myself with extra workouts or restricting more the next day. And that's those are the worst things to do. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and my tips on how to move forward from occasions where you slip up, where you don't follow your plan or whatever it is. If you feel like you are not staying on track when it comes to workouts or nutrition. And what I found over the years and through my experience, and I do, I will be doing a video next week talking about my experiences with binge eating and body image issues, basically body dysmorphia. And um, I've done previous videos about it, but I thought it would be something to revisit because next week is eating disorder awareness week. So I think it's a really important topic to talk about. Um, and sometimes it's censored on YouTube. So I, hopefully the video, if I say those words, um, it's not gonna get, flagged or taken down or demonetized. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's just so crazy to me that those topics, they're so important to talk about, but they're censored. And then there are things on the internet that aren't censored in any way and it doesn't make sense. Anyway, so y'all keep an eye out for that video next week. I don't, I might not even do it on Fitness Friday. I might do it on like Tuesday or Thursday just as an extra video. And uh, so having gone through struggles with extremes. Um, adhering to a very, very extreme, rigid diet and then falling off the wagon and going in 180 degrees the opposite direction. Oh, there we go. Um, so I still struggle with that mentality from time to time and it's taken me years to get out of it, to be completely honest. 
but there are still moments like this week whenever I was not on point with my diet. I went way over my caloric intake for the day um, and I just felt terrible. And part of me wanted to try and make up for it by doing extra cardio this week. Um, but I've found that the absolute best thing that we can do is just move forward. And it sounds stupid simple because it is, we tend to overthink things. And whenever we mess up, it's literally a drop in the bucket when it compares to the bigger picture. So I started this prep pretty much on January 1st. Um, how many weeks is that? How many days is that? How many hours of workouts? How many days of consistent nutrition has that been? Uh, let's ballpark close to 60 because we're at the end of February now. One day of being off track in comparison to 60 days, that's not even mentioning the previous a thousand thousand days that I have already put in uh, with my fitness journey. One freaking day is not gonna make or break, make or break progress. One day is not gonna undo the four or five years that I have been putting in. And I think it's important to remember that and put it into perspective because we tend to think that this one day, even if you eat 10,000 calories in one single day, in the grand scheme of things, it's a tiny, tiny, minute little detail. And the most important part is picking right back up and moving forward from that point. Even if you backtrack a step or two, you move on from that point. And that's the absolute best thing that we can do. So if you're somebody that's just getting started with workouts or with nutrition and you had a bad day, a bad week, a bad weekend this week, the best thing to do is pick right back up right now where you are and do what you can to keep moving forward. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I tell my clients all the time that I would rather have them on point 80% of the time rather than on point 100% for a day or two and then at 0% the next several days because they gave up. So any bit of effort is going to help and it's going to be positive. And I think that whenever we get distracted by these little slip ups, these little occasions, we end up putting way more energy, time, and effort into it than we need to, rather than just moving forward. And that's it. Um, and so I've had to remind myself of that several times this week, because especially whenever you're in a prep, which is a more extreme fitness goal, um, I'm trying to get to a more extreme goal than any other fitness goal that I would have. I tend to think that I have to be perfect in order to do well. And then I end up putting a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect when in reality all I need to do is just be consistent and keep moving forward. And so this week has been a good reminder for me because I haven't had a moment like this in a while. And it's just crazy to me. And it's awesome to think at how I'm able to step outside of these thoughts and the want to restrict uh, and overcompensate for food. And I'm able to kind of knock some sense into myself when years ago I would have fallen back into the habit of restricting more and then that would just lead to another binge. And I'm so thankful to have gone through this. But really we just need to let go of that perfection mentality and focus on doing better but just doing what we can every single day and some days our efforts will be minimal some days we will struggle to just maintain where we're at and that's okay because we're also going to have days where we feel on top of the world and we feel like nothing can stop us and we make leaps and bounds during those days and then whenever we have days where we just can't seem to catch our breath, we stay where we're at and that's okay. And we'll have days where we fall backwards a few steps, but it's always about picking right back up where you are and moving forward from that point. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys today. Hopefully it resonates with somebody um, with these messages. If it reaches one person that needs it, that's worth it to me. And if you guys do enjoy these types of little 
random car chats, make sure and hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you'll have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, I think that's going to be it. That seems like my thoughts are all out there. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you're having a good day. And I will see you guys in next week's video.